The first two principles, the principle of dominance and the principle of segregation, were concerned with the inheritance of single traits. However, the pea plant has many traits. How do you think the results would be affected if two or more traits were studied at the same time? Would the number of appearances of one trait, such as green seed color, have an effect on the number of appearances of another trait, such as the height of the pea plant? To find out, Mendel decided to follow two pairs of contrasting traits at the same time. From previous experiments, he knew that yellow color was dominant over green color in pea seeds, and that round seed shape was dominant over wrinkled seeds. Mendel proceeded to make crosses in which he kept track of both seed color and seed shape. He started with plants that were pure for both dominant traits. They produced yellow round seeds. The other parent was pure for both recessive traits. They produced green wrinkled seeds. He artificially pollinated one type of plant with pollen from the other type, and then observed the seeds that were produced. The results were as expected. All the seeds of the first generation showed only the two dominant traits. That is, they were yellow and smooth. No green or wrinkled seeds appeared. The next step was to plant these seeds and let the plants that grew from them self-pollinate or inbreed. This would produce a second generation of seeds. As expected, recessive traits appeared in some of these seeds. Many seeds still showed both dominant traits, but some were yellow and wrinkled. They were dominant for seed color and recessive for seed shape. Some were green and smooth. They were recessive for seed color and dominant for seed shape. And a few were green and wrinkled. They were recessive for seed color and recessive for seed shape. The traits were distributed in exactly the same ratios as when only a single trait was studied, that is, three to one. And the number of appearances for one trait had no effect on the number of appearances of the other trait. The color of the pea seeds had no effect on whether the pea seeds were round or wrinkled, and round or wrinkled shape had no effect on whether the trait for seed color was yellow or green. From data of this kind, Mendel concluded that traits were inherited independently of one another. What hypothesis do you think Mendel used to explain this? Mendel proposed the principle of independent assortment. This principle states that factors for different traits are separated and distributed independently of one another. In Mendel's pea plants, this means that if the plant is tall, it will have no effect on the color of the seeds or the shape of the pea pods. If the principle of independent assortment were extended to human beings, it would mean that if a person has blue eyes, it will have no effect on whether the person is short or tall.